Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Hi. Hello from Doc's Lifestyle Medicine. So, we're trying to decide what we wanted to talk about. And Kim thought stress reduction and management would be a good one. However, we've done that. We've before. kind of done bits and bobs of that, but we're just trying to hike some new trails on the weekend, which we knew was a, a big ask and a big mistake. And uh, there's so many people down where we wanted to go that we decided to come to one of our regular spots, yep. even though that'll be crowded. But uh, Kim thought it'd be good for me to talk about chronic pain as I am seven years out from my accident and still uh, still suffering somewhat. Uh, less than I was last year, Yay. less than the year before that. So just about when I'm on my deathbed, I should actually be pain free <laughs> if I'm lucky. But anywho, so chronic pain. So mine is generally myofascial and neuropathic. Um, there's not an awful lot of um, lifestyle stuff you can do for the neuropathic really. Here's another bag. I got it. Um, but uh, the myofascial is kind of inflammatory so uh, that's much easier for me to get some results from uh, lifestyle stuff. So basically, uh, a whole food plant-based diet is going to be very, very anti-inflammatory, especially if you get rid of the oil. Um, and we don't generally use oil. Uh, I occasionally use some. I'll just leave it there. We'll get it on the way back. Put it up under the tree. Um, sorry, I'm just picking up poop like a good citizen. Um, yeah, so for the myofascial pain, um, for me, it's very much usage related. So um, the more I do, the more likely I am to start having spasms and my very unpleasant groin pain, which is, I'm told, hip pain generally. But uh, I know when I've been bad that my pain is definitely uh, worse, but it's nowhere near as acute as uh, it used to be and a lot of that I do put down to the anti-inflammatory properties of the whole food plant-based diet. Um, so you're avoiding inflama inflammatory foods yes like cheeses and yes. meats and oils yes but you are adding anti-inflammatory foods like turmeric and um, greens and fruits that can help with uh, inflammation. Yeah. Right. And I rest better, so yes. you when you rest there. better, your, your um, pain is better. I know when I have one of my sleepless nights that uh, I might as well ride off the next day because I, I may not be hurting badly enough to not do anything, but I'll certainly be hurting badly enough not to want to do any big hikes or anything like that. And being on the whole food plant-based diet, you have lost weight, which helps your balance and your pain. Yep. So that's good. For sure. Um, so the sleep is important, the food is important, the inflammation is important. How about meditation and um, breathing techniques to get you through some of it? Yeah, if I, when I have something very acute and very severe, which doesn't happen too often, touch wood anymore. Um, you know, by the time I take a narcotic, it, it would take so long to work that the spasm would pass. There's no point in taking it. Um, you know, the, probably the best one is the uh, stress reduction one. Is the uh, oh, was it four seven eight? Yes. Breathe in, Doctor Wheels. Yep. Um, so inhale for four seconds, hold breath for seven seconds, yep. exhale for eight seconds and that will engage the sympathetic and parasympathetic pathways and uh, just help reduce those cortisol levels and uh, just gives me a minute to stop and think and uh, not progress or do anything to make uh, make the pain worse. Break that chain, that cycle. That pain yeah, cycle. yeah. Now that doesn't always work. And uh, I still will occasionally use a very low dose narcotic if I know we're going to do a big hike because 
you know, I can get six, seven miles on just my regular meds. And this is from somebody who was in a wheelchair for eight months after his... Yeah. <laughs> and has had multiple surgeries on multiple bones. <laughs> but getting back is the issue. So if I don't pre-med... pre-medicate, um, I'm going to be miserable or not be able to do it. So I will if I need to. And exercise has helped. And you moving more has helped. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm quite sore today because we did our stand-up paddleboard uh, core. <laughs> Working on balance and core yesterday. Core and yoga workout yesterday for an hour. and uh, <laughs> Which is a blast while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Pre preventing myself from going in the water um, actually probably hurts me more than anything. <laughs> because I'm going down very hard on my knees and I'm not used to any kind of impacts anymore on my especially on my hips even driving to the hiking trail we wanted to try today it's it's a moderately rough trail I mean you could get a regular car down there pretty easy but just that jerking and bumping yeah. man it hits my hips so hard and I think it's partly because of the position I have to sit in, in the car you know, just just the way you sit, you sit in a car. You know, you you impact. It has nothing to do with the broken hips that you've had and the metal <laughs> that you have and all that. Yeah. Somewhat, but uh, yeah. Thanks, Pep. <laughs> just got the back. Careful. Come here, guys. Come, Rusty. Come. Come. Peppy, come. You get out of the way. Good. Okay. So, in terms of lifestyle, the sleep, the stress, the um, weight loss, yeah, the anti-inflammatory diet. I think the anti-inflammatory diet really helps the muscular pain and the myofascial pain. Yeah. You know, the neuropathic stuff, there's not really too much I can do about that except meditation and uh, engaging those different pathways with um, stress reduction techniques. Because, you know, pain is a stress. Every um, little bit helps. So. Yeah, yeah. So... You know, going from, what was that, 220? 60 milligrams of, Oh, I think uh, at the height I was taking 60 of Oxy. oxycodone, uh, some of that in long I release think you were form. 80 actually. Yeah, maybe 80. Yeah. Um, and then short form during the day, as well as, uh, what was it, meloxicine? Meloxicam, which, which is, is an a really expensive anti-inflammatory. And um, Lyrica and... Yeah, I, I do still take Lyrica for the neuropathic pain to help me sleep as well. And then uh, I do take anti-inflammatories, which I am loath to do, but... You know, it's... Uh, unfortunately, uh, if I don't do it, I'm uh, not very functional. Uh, but it doesn't, it doesn't bother my stomach at all, and that's an approxim twice a day which is uh, pretty heavy um, you do need to be careful with that for some folks we tried but, to get you uh, off of that but that didn't well work. twice I've tried to get out off of that yeah and uh, twice it hasn't gone so well but you've done so much better and for me because I've had both knees surgerized and had years and years and years and years of skiing and jumping um, I find that the anti-inflammatory diet makes a huge difference on so my knees keeping my weight down, keeping my muscles yeah. strong. I, I, most people say that after 10 years after your first surgery, you have severe arthritis. Well, I have the arthritis. Come. Sorry about that. Back to uh, my knees. Um, so 10 years after... Uh, yeah, 10 to 15 years is normal lifespan of repaired joints or right. uh, prosthetic joints. And mine are, I had a... Um, Total knee repair. So it's repaired. almost 40 years. Yeah, and both knees. <laughs> and I haven't had to have, uh, I've had one surgery each on each knee to repair it because of ACL tears and other kinds of ligament damage and cartilage damage. Um, and I haven't had to have more. Yet. Because I, yet. I mean, I think I'll have replacement eventually. But it's been 40 years on one knee and 30 years on another knee. So. That's quite impressive, yeah. and I don't have hey. the pain that most people have. So I've had the arthritic changes, which means I'm pretty much bone on bone on both knees. 
but I don't have the pain because I don't have the inflammation, which Rusty. is wonderful. <laughs> so I don't have to take meds on a regular basis. I don't have to, I just have to keep my quads and my hamstrings very strong and eat healthfully, keep my weight down. And I still hike, I don't know, uh, 12 miles a day if I want to easily. And I hike up mountains. Now, on the way down, I should be using poles because that takes down half the, um, it takes down about 30% of the forces on my knees. How often do you remember your poles, honey? I'm pretty bad. I'm a terrible patient. <laughs> zero percent. Not zero. I'd say one percent. <laughs> yeah. Not good. That's for sure. There's occasion. When I'm wearing a pack and I'm out, <laughs> then yes, I can use sure. poles. Hi. But here we are. So, um, 